layers and textures are a creative way to make a video edit more dynamic by adding another level of style and pace. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own DIY pack of handmade analog assets. I'll show you how to make your own set of unique PNGs from hand-drawn shapes and symbols, which you can then use to develop into animations for use when you're editing. And at the end, I'll show you a creative way to make your own film burns without shooting film. For those that want this look but don't want to make it themselves, I've made a pack which can be bought from the Photocinematica shop, which is linked in the description. Let us begin. To make the physical versions that you will then manipulate digitally, you'll need some white paper and a pen of some kind. I like to use a black sharpie, but you can experiment with the type of drawing apparatus or colour you want. I wanted to make some stickers like the kind photographers used to use during the selection process when looking at photos, like the examples you see here in Magnum's contact sheet book. So I bought a set of these stickers and labels. To digitise the assets, I use a camera so I can get the highest quality, but you can also use a scanner or your phone. With your pen and paper, begin to draw and write the types of symbols, shapes and words that you want to make. For this demonstration, I'll do some arrows, circles and frames. I like trying to make symbols that feel like they could be scribbles on a screenplay or the doodles of a storyboard artist. Anything that feels like it could be part of the filmmaking or photographic process. I'll do each one four times and try to make each one slightly different. It will also help when it comes to creating the animation. Next we have the dots. Again, I'll stick four of each on the white paper and make each one a little bit more rough than the last to give it a worn and used feel. If you're using white or a colour close to white for labels or stickers, then you'll need to use a black background of some kind. Cigarette burns are the marks used in cinema that cue the projectionist to change the reel. If you look for it, you can see these little dots come into the upper right hand corner of the screen. They can be a nice addition to an edit as a snappy transition or to stylize a shot by using it as a mask. You can make these by drawing around the inside of a roll of tape. Then take your pen by the end and draw around the same circle a number of times until you have a more arbitrary shape. I made three of these, but you can create as many as you want. Using your camera and some good light, take photos of everything you have just created. I use a 35mm, 50mm or a 50mm macro with my Sony a7 III. As I said before, you can also use your phone if necessary. Bring your photos into Photoshop and begin to edit, creating as much contrast in the image without losing data. I usually add a layer of brightness and contrast like so, maybe another if needed. Once I feel the white is the brightest white without losing info, I'll flatten the image then remove the white by double clicking the layer and at the bottom slide the white side as far to the left as you can without your image falling apart until you're left with just your drawing. This is the same for stickers but if you used a black background then you'll need to remove the black by sliding it from the left. Then cut out the individual elements using the selection tool and right click the selection and click layer via cut. Repeat this for all of your assets. With the cigarette burns once you've cut it out you'll then need to fill it with black using the paint bucket tool and erase any stray lines you don't want. For consistency, I want all of my elements to be a similar size, so I created a 4K 16x9 Photoshop file and dragged all of my elements in there. I then resized and aligned each one so that when I bring them into editing, I'm not spending too much time resizing. It also helps if you plan on making animations from the PNGs. I then add an invert layer to the top of my layer stack so the PNGs are now white, except for the cigarette burns and stickers, and then save each element to a dedicated folder. So you now have a set of your own handmade assets that you can use in your editing projects. The next step, if you wish, is to animate them. I'll show you some simple ways of doing it within Premiere for those that don't have After Effects. To create some movement, add all four of the different versions of the specific asset into the timeline, making each one one to two frames long. Copy and paste this a couple of times so you have a short clip of moving elements. You can do this with any shape you created multiple versions of. To make the circles feel like they've been hand drawn, add a crop effect to the layer. Use the pen tool to draw around the area you want to start. Click the stopwatch and slide one of the cropping parameters all the way to 100. Then frame by frame, reveal a little more of the circle until you've reached the end. You can play around with the timing by moving the keyframes further apart or closer together. To export these so they have a transparent background, you need to go to export and then as a quick time, animation, and then with the depth select, 8 BPC plus alpha. Now you have a bank of animations that you can drag and drop onto your timeline. If you want to change the colour of any of these animations or the PNGs, then you can use the tint effect in Premiere to change to your desired colour. The fun with all of these is experimenting and playing around with the layers and blending options to create a unique effect. 
film burns are one of my favourite transitions to use when editing. I like to use my own from my archive of Super 8mm footage, but if you don't have any footage of your own, then I found a digital way to create an effect similar that has its own look and feel. Get some black card to create a mini backdrop with a wall and a tabletop. Bring your camera to the level of the table and remove the lens. Find a glass with some texture and shine a light into it close to your camera. The prism effect from the glass shining into your sensor can create some unique patterns and you can play around with the intensity of the light and the distance of the glass to change the effect. To introduce some colour, I use these small colour gel cutoffs placed inside the glass for some more variation. And I also tried to use this shiny gold card to bounce light off, which added a warmer tone similar to the film burn look. The key to making this work is in editing. By saturating the right colours, adding contrast and overlaying some grain, you can make something that feels film burn adjacent but completely unique. Then play around with the blending options in editing. I find the screen blending mode to work best, but play around and try different looks. So that's how you make your own assets. My analog overlay and texture pack is now available on the Photocinematica website and features all of what I've just showed you and a lot more. It includes over 100 PNGs with film borders, hand-drawn elements, stickers and typewriter text, animations, Super 8 film burns and over 30 digital burns. So if you're looking to try something new in your video edits or your design work, or you're looking to add another string to your editing bow, then this could be for you. I've also just launched a Patreon, and if you want to help support this channel and receive some behind the scenes exclusive content, discounts in the shop, and a deeper look into the photocinematical world, then there's a link below to sign up. I would love to be able to dedicate more time to this channel, and with your help, we can make that happen. Thank you for watching. This is the end of the video.